Hi guys, welcome to Intellect Medicos and I am Dr. Shruti from Intellect Medicos. So, in today's video, we will be going to discuss about effective study techniques mainly. For the sake of ease, I have divided this video into three parts. The three parts involving the first one will be the techniques to study, the second one will be the time management and the third part will be the motivation to study. I am not sure if I will be able to cover all the three topics in one go or we might need to make it in two parts. So stay with me till the end and do watch the video till the end. There are going to be lots of lots of information which so diving right into the first part of the topic is the effective study techniques. So the number one technique is SQ3R method, the number two technique is active recall method and number three technique is spaced repetition method. In SQ3R method we will discuss in detail the full form of SQ3R is basically survey, question, recite review and recall. So we will go deeper into this uh, right now. So starting with the SQ3R method. The S stands for survey. Suppose you open your physiology textbook and you come across uh, let's say nervous system. So with the survey thing what will you do? Okay these are the topics of the survey as in these are the topics of the nervous system. Okay fine what is nervous system, what is it made up of, what are its roles and functions. So you just survey. These are the few topics I have to go through. And in the second part is that you will question again. SQ3R means you have surveyed it, now you will question it. Question it means that like what is nervous system comprised of, what are the parts of nervous system or what does it do? Do tell in the comment section if you have any doubts about any of the topics or if you want something else to be discussed. And yes, do tell us if you like the video. So coming over to the SQ3R method. Uh, in the three R things, we have three R's basically. Recite, review and recall. Recite means you have to write whatever you have studied in your own language. That means that whatever you have studied and whatever you have surveyed, questioned and understood by the topic, you write it in your own language so that you understand the concepts in a better way. So that you can also teach it, it to someone. That makes it easier to understand. Although, you know, all of these methods are a bit time consuming, but I can assure you, if you put in that much of time into it, you will definitely get a lot out of it. You'll remember it for a very long period of time. I can assure you that I did it myself while I was studying Although I understand that it definitely takes a hell lot of time and sometimes you get discouraged so you can do it in like smaller parts. So uh, then coming over to the second R, right? The second R will be review. So in reviewing you will be like what is the relevance of understanding the neurology or the nervous system let's say. So basically in that you understand what is the real life applications of that particular concept or what is the real life application of understanding the roles of nervous system how does it help us in everyday life that is very simple to understand and say at this point of time but you know these things make these concepts absolutely clear in your mind and what actions we do what parts of the brain are responsible for which action like that then comes the recall Recall is the most important thing I'm telling you. Like if you revise it, you retain it. If you don't revise it, you forget it. If you don't revise, you cannot remember. You have to understand the importance of revision. Uh, I know this sounds a bit boring, like everybody tells you revise, 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 but it is absolutely important. Your brain has a forgetting curve. I'll show this. The forgetting curve says that you, re you kind of forget. 80% of whatever you read in the next 24 hours. Horrible it sounds. I totally agree. Yeah, I, I mean I have spent uh, what? 4 hours studying one small topic and I don't remember 80% of it the next day. But that is the truth of it. Our brain has specific limited retention space and time for everything. You know this, this small brain has to remember so many things. Now uh, this video series is kind of a different, uh, you know, start from our side, from the team of Intellect Medicos. So, yes, do tell me your thoughts. I'd love to interact with you guys. Tell us how you liked it, how you would like us to do this more or whatever is your uh, feedback. We'd love to listen to you. And thanks for supporting us for a very long period of time. We are so grateful for your love and for your support, guys. We are what we are just because of you people. Because of your love, because of your support. So in recall method, actually the other two, other two methods are actually uh, extension of this recall method only, which are uh, active recall and 
and spaced repetition. Active recall says the same thing of uh, SQ3R only, sort of, that you have to, you know, kind of write down whatever you have studied, now you are done with the topic. You just kind of actively recall without looking into the textbook or your notes. You have to directly recall it from your brain, from your memory. For that is active recall. That takes a lot of time again, but it helps you remember for, I can even say forever. When you do these exercises over a period of time, you can remember them forever and there are so many evidence-based studies supporting this fact that if you do active recall, you remember it for very long periods of time. And spaced repetition is what I just told you about forgetting curve. You have to revise for a while, even for 5 minutes, uh, after every 24 hours, after every week, after every month and then after every 3 months. So that is according to the forgetting curve, if you want to remember 98% of the things you studied to remember, you have to follow this. I'm not saying that you have to keep, you know, giving that much of time for every time you revise, you can just flip through it and you can uh, just, you know, kind of recall in your brain that there is no point of, you know, just going through it uh, absentmindedly. You have to be actively recalling or, or you can actually record in your phone whatever you study for that period of time like I studied some specific topic like functions of temporal law for example so I'll record it in my own voice on my phone uh, okay these are the functions this is how brain works this is the functions of the temporal lobe, parietal lobe or whatever is uh, whatever I studied and then I can listen to it while I travel while I go somewhere or while I am just you know I don't feel like doing anything you have to actually make use of the time you have to achieve the results you want that is it guys you have very limited time you are right now studying for your exams for your entrance you have a lot of time to say but not that much of time actually so you have to make the best use of whatever time is available to you coming over to the second part of the video that is time management techniques so in time management techniques basically i would want you guys to do one exercise and do tell me in the comment section did you do it and what did you get out of it so just for one day just for one day observe where you spend all of your time i would say actually observe every minute of your day it sounds ridiculous but if you do this exercise i mean i did it and i was shocked that i spent so much time doing nothing in my day i've got 24 hours and you know my uh, teacher used to say to me that see you have also got 24 hours and the topper also have got 24 hours it is the, just the difference how you make use of that time you get that right so you have to make the best use of the time available so yeah i did this experiment and i found out that i wasted a lot of time on just you know watching videos on instagram on social surfing websites and all of that so you should be mindful about how you use your time uh, basically the first rule is to mind to be mindful of how you spend your time you know you have to uh, allocate your time wisely to different things you want to accomplish for that you need to plan your day one day before or the same day you just need five minutes to do so in the five minutes you just need to decide your work like in terms of what is most urgent which has to be done no matter what which is less urgent like which can wait for a while the most urgent work you have to accomplish and get it done with the first thing in the day so you have to finish it Whatever it is you decide your mind to accomplish, you have to finish it. The two tip is to use Pomodoro technique. What is Pomodoro technique? Pomodoro technique says that you have to divide your time into 25 minutes of uh, chunks of time to do the activity and then relax for 5 minutes. So basically you have to study for 25 minutes and then rest for 5 minutes or you can use it as your wish, whatever is your study time. Like you can read or study for 45 minutes and then take 10 to 15 minutes break. I tend to do the same. I tend to, you know, study for 45 minutes and take 15 minutes break. That way I feel more productive. So you have to just, you know, decide and do it. And you can use different apps like um, I can suggest you one forest app where you can set the timer and it, you know, to make your studies interesting, you have to, you know, keep studying and keep being motivated you have to make study like a game it has to be more interesting so that you can enter you can be entertained while you study 
that is by using different apps different things which can help you study like the third thing is break your uh, goals into smaller chunks like whatever you have to do you have to break it into smaller parts which are the achievable goals so if you want to you have to understand this when you think that you have to cover this entire syllabus this seems too large but when you think that you have to cover two chapters in one week that seems so small so basically you have to break your larger goal into smaller chunks that is extremely important guys and that is one very important tip here then comes the fourth point which is that you have to reward yourself when you achieve something celebrate it go for a drive do something eat something or do whatever you feel like at that point of time get you know give reward to yourself for what you have done this is your hard work and you should celebrate it that is what i want to say now comes the fifth point fifth point is that you have to basically start it right now you have to do it okay so you have to kind of you know use different te techniques and start doing it you have to assign 2 hours or 4 hours or whatever number of hours you have to assign at this point of time in your life see you have very limited time you have to literally be the best and do the best and i know you can you have that potential you guys are really great and you have such beautiful minds you can achieve whatever you set your mind to so coming over to the last point use pareto principle pareto principle states that 80% of your time goes into 20% of your activities which is absolutely right if you observe 80% of your time is given to 20% of your friends 80% of your time is wasted on 20% of apps on your phone and the same applies to almost everything so make that 80% worthwhile make most of your efforts goal oriented if you want to study for an exam Practice 10 year question papers for that exam because that will be most fruitful for you to getting good marks. Understand the concepts but when it is time for exams, focus on getting marks. If that is important to you, then you have to study 10 years question papers. I cannot tell you the importance of this thing enough that when you can get it from seniors or from the question banks, you have to practice them, right? So guys, this was an attempt from Intellect Medicos to help you guys study more effectively and do tell us if you guys like the video hit the like button subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon as well so if you like it also do discuss whatever you want to discuss in the comment section how did you like the video and what do you want us to do differently in the next videos we value your feedback the most and we are here to help you guys in any possible manner we can so thank you guys for watching the video and we are extremely grateful for your love guys. Love you guys.